to the dining room this time. Um, I have some ID, some ID backlinks, the sulfur diesel ones. It's overcast sky. Uh, underneath them, I've got a piece of hardboard, which is twenty four inches wide by like forty eight, something like that. And uh, I'm just going to cut it down the middle. And it'll give me uh, 12 inches and the back seams are 15 inches so we'll lose 3 inches. Uh, I don't mind, I've done that with all of them. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to do a quick time lapse of me doing that and putting the back seams on, on the board and that. Yeah, so um, let's get started. So on the actual seam, the uh, back seam for a small border there, so I want to line the edge of the scenery, not the border up with the board. So it's a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I've got to think. I want to say take an inch off the top. Two inches off the bottom. So that's gonna line up with all the knife fins. Exactly one inch, oh, I guess. One tad up, that's an inch off the top then. And so there's one inch off the top. Off the edge of the board. <laughs> so we'll put that an inch. Okay, so this is way over. So that should be straight now. Yeah, right, so I'm going to just take this up. And, well, I suppose because it's the front board, it doesn't have to be perfect. But you want it as close to perfect the other end where you're going to be cutting it. You, want, you don't want a big obvious join. You want it as subtle as possible. 
So let's just measure this one more time. That should be one inch. Let's move that so slightly. Yeah, that's one inch. This is moved a little now. That's one inch. Let's move it again. Just need it to move. One inch. So to stop it from moving, I'm just going to put a couple more hooks this in, and that way I'll start taking off the adhesive paper, the backing. Right. And what I normally do is just snip a little bit. Down. And get that stuff on first. Use a nice, nice soft cloth. And for the bubble, that will just sort us on there. Oh, a little tiny bubble. Sure, it'll get more over the years. Right, shut it all over. Right, so, I've got that in the stuff on. Gently unroll this. Start putting on back the adhesive. Pretty cloth, go along nice and slowly and gently. If I'm sure you get any big air bubbles or just release a bit at a time. Like so. This should, I'm not saying it's going to be perfect, but it should be straight. Straight enough anyway. Let's take the time. It's knocking off any little speckles like that. Yeah. So what, I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to trim this up.
That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm saying. On the end of the one. Only the back and paper that is. Right. This is not bad at all. I'm making a video on it, it never does. Let me get this off and then we'll continue the video. So it's dead to the board, some pair of scissors. I think a sharp uh, knife would have been better, a modeler's knife or something. This should. The tiny, the tiny lip. So when it comes to putting that on, that'll overlap. But only ever so slightly to the next one. I'm just going to trim around this now and uh, I'll put the next piece on and then continue. If the board are off there, I continue on the next week. So, another time lapse. Just, 
just over the edge of the board so the two boards will be joined together so in the loft on the back wall it's going to be the left side going across and this one's going to join to there and then the next seam's going to go on here and so on I, I think it might be three boards I don't know if, it, if, if it's going to be two or three boards to cover the, the full length of the wall but see what happens I'll do the, the two full back seams and whatever I've got left over just gets cut off yeah so just I don't even think three mil I think that's about two at the moment it's not perfectly straight either so um, this, this, should, this should go on alright yeah so I'll carry on now. With this section being really small, it kept moving on me, which was quite annoying. It's at the very back. I don't know if I've seen it in front of me. Be probably quite hard to notice, probably. Yeah. So on to the next one. Um, I'll just overlap the next one. I'll, I'll cut the border off the next one, but I'll just overlap it. Leave that border on. I'm, I'm happy with that.
I am. Vaccine's all right and ready, and uh, just need to trim this. If it's, uh, you know, if the, the loft's that wide, I'm going to need to patch it up somehow. I've got a few off cuts which I can blend in, but if not, just buy more vaccines. So, uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to put them in the loft now and see how they look. There we have it. That doesn't look too bad at all. With dark overcast there and then it gets lighter and lighter to almost white. So I think that's gonna fit in well with the other vaccines. And the the joint it's it's practically in, invisible on camera, but you can you can make it out. Best I could do. I'm, uh, I'm happy with it. Yeah, just gotta uh, get them all I'm gonna put some Battening on the wall to attach so they be attached to the two beams, and then a bit of battening on the wall to the more secure. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. Just need to order some more vaccines for this side. I've got three boards. I've got three more boards. So that's another ten foot of vaccines. So I need say another two boards and two two rolls maybe two rolls of vaccines and that should be the vaccines around the, the main part of the layout. I've got half a vaccine up there I can use if I need to as well. Oops, oh, what's going on? That one's not in. Once that's in, yeah, I don't know whether to have it. Yeah. Easy to do this. Don't know whether to have it come round the corner like a square or just have it go up to the wall. So I was thinking of having that as a, a separate section when I come round to building it. I think I'll just cut it off there. And if I use that bit of vaccine put it over this side or whatever. I'm just stuck on what vaccines to use for the back, whether it's town scene or countryside or I don't know so that's the hills and moors on that side just just cloud or overcast the back yeah so I'm happy there that's it for now anyway so see you in the next one bye for now bye